We are in the endocrinology video series. All previous videos are linked in the description. Now in this video we are going to discuss about gonads and hormones. The gonads are reproductive glands where we have testes in males and ovaries in females. So we see these reproductive glands are kind of a mixed glands since we get gametes as well as hormones from them. But here we are more concerned with the hormones. There are two set of hormones from gonads. First we get the gonadal hormones or we can say primary hormones from gonads and second is the accessory or regulatory hormones from gonads. The gonadal hormones includes progesterone, androgens and estrogens whereas regulatory hormones includes activin, inhibin, relaxin, AMH and GNSAF hormone. First of all let's explain the testes and its hormones. It is a male reproductive gland which is positioned in scrotal sac as we can see in this diagram and for hormonal secretion we have two important cells Leydig cells and Sertoli cells. Now let's see the hormones from it. First is the androgens and of all the androgens we have the testosterone which is synthesized by the Leydig cells of testes. The testosterone has ton of effects in males that too at different stages of life. We see at fetal stage it has effect on genital differentiation, effect on descent on testes and at puberty we see it has effect on external genitalia, effect on accessory sex organs, effect on development of male secondary sexual characters, effect on spermatogenesis, psychological behavior and libido and we also see testosterone mediates anabolic and growth promoting effects like protein synthesis, bone growth, basal metabolic rate and water and electrolyte balance. And when we go to the adult stage, the testosterone affects the hair growth, physique, spermatogenesis, hematopoiesis and regulation of gonadotropin secretion. So these are some major functions of testosterone. Second is the inhibin hormone, which is secreted by the Sertoli cells of testes. Particularly we have inhibin B. This inhibin controls FSH secretion from pituitary gland via a negative feedback mechanism. Third is AMH, which is anti-mullerian hormone which is secreted by the Sertoli cells of testes. In males, it mediates the regression of mullerian duct, so-called anti-mullerian hormone. So it plays a major role in the development of internal male genitalia. And fourth one is INSL3 hormone, that's insulin-like 3 hormone, by Leydig cells. This hormone regulates growth and differentiation of gubernaculum and thus mediating intra-abdominal testicular descent. Now let's head towards the ovaries, which is female reproductive gland. The position of ovaries is at posterior lower abdomen, as shown in the diagram. From these ovaries we get hormones like estrogens, like we have three types of estrogens, E1 that's estrone, E2 estradiol and E3 estrol. We see the E1 that's estrone is a weak steroid, estradiol that's E2 is strong steroid and estrone that's E3 is also a weak steroid as E1. And if we see the presence of estrogens within the females, the E1 estrone is the only estrogen found after the menopause. Now going to E3 form, that's estrol. It is only found in pregnant women, but 90% is synthesized by the placenta during pregnancy. Then we have E2 form, that's estradiol, which is predominant in non-pregnant females. It regulates menstrual cycle and also aids in development of female secondary sexual characters. Now moving towards the progesterone hormone, which is also known as pregnancy hormone. Within the ovaries we have the structure termed as corpus luteum, which has endocrine functions as it secretes this progesterone hormone. But the secretion takes place from the onset of puberty to menopause. It's involved in pregnancy, menstrual cycle and embryogenesis. And it also aids in decidualization that includes development of endometrium for implantation. Then there is relaxin hormone. It's also secreted by this corpus luteum, which also mediates the decidualization. Then we have activin hormone that's secreted by ovarian follicles, which increases follicle stimulating hormone binding, that's FSH binding. And we also have GNSAF hormone, that's gonadotropin releasing hormone agonist. It's secreted by granulosa cells and it regulates the secretion of luteinizing hormone. So these are the major hormones from ovaries and testes. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.